If it's alright, I wanna kick it with you all night, all night. Hey, what is up, you guys? I'm Michaela. Welcome back, or if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different than my normal videos, so let's get into this. So with school right around the corner, I thought it would be best to film a tips-advice video on being the new kid at school. So trust me when I say this, I've been the new kid numerous times and I know how it feels. It'll take some time, but you'll get through it. So here's my tips and advice on how to get through it and just how to make the best of your situation and all the other things that go along with it. So my number one tip is to be confident going into your school and this could be hard for some people. I know it was very hard for me when I started a new school because um, I would think everybody was staring at me or like that everybody's talking about me and whispering and all of this but in reality that's not happening um it's all in your head people don't really stare at you or are worried about like t catching up with their old friends or like recapping their whole summer with their best friend or squad or whatever so be confident and smile to the people surrounding you because if you smile you're giving out positive energy and People like gravitate towards that energy so you'll have a better chance of becoming friends with people and just like getting to know people. So my second tip is to conversate whenever you get the chance. Now I'm like me, I'm super shy and I don't talk to anybody unless they talk to me first. Um, other than that I'll just sit and smile and wait until somebody like approaches me or something. But if you have a chance to conversate with somebody, conversate. They're going to be conversating with you and everybody else is going to be conversating. This is a perfect time to make new friends and to just let them know a little bit more about you. Along with that, try to conversate with other new kids as well because all of you guys are going through the same thing. And you'll be able to connect easier that way because you're both feeling awkward, you're both feeling out of place. And, you know, it would just be good to have like a friend that is in the same boat as you. My fourth piece of advice is to ask somebody or someone in your classes, preferably a new kid, um, but it could be whoever, ask them what lunch they have and ask or invite them to eat lunch with you. That way you guys could like, if it's a new kid, you guys could figure out like where everything is. Or if it's a kid that attended the same school the previous years, they'll be able to show you around and possibly invite you to their group of friends and that way you'll make more friends and have a group or person to sit with at lunch so that you're not all alone because I remember when I went to my old school last year I was a new kid and <laughs> this is so sad but it's whatever um it was my fault because I didn't ask anybody and I know that there was people that would be open to me wanting to sit with them at lunch but I just I'm shy so I don't really talk to people and I don't know it was just something I felt uncomfortable with doing so last year um I think for the first few weeks maybe like one or two weeks I sat alone at lunch or I didn't even eat and I'd just walk around because I literally knew nobody and um yeah, that was just like the worst. Eventually, over the over time, I got a group to sit with at lunch and to eat with and to laugh about jokes and all this. So, if you guys are going to the same school and you guys see a new kid in your school, invite them to sit with you at lunch or just go up to them and talk to them because... Okay, I think this is tip number five. I don't remember, but... Um, if you're new, get to your classes at least 5 to 10 minutes earlier to choose where you want to sit because usually teachers don't have assigned seating charts until like a month or a few weeks into the school. 
So I would get there like five to ten minutes early to just talk to your teacher and like get to know them a little bit and choose where you want to sit and look over your schedule or look over your classes, see where they are. Um, that was a big thing for me. I used to, well, I still do. I always put my, um, I always take a picture of my schedule and put it as my lock screen. So that way I'm not always pulling out this paper and obviously looking lost. I'll just like turn on my phone and be like, okay, this is my next class. Um, it's just like something I prefer because I think everybody, oh well, we all know everybody's on their phones 24 seven and you just look like you're checking like a notification or something. So it's less obvious that you're lost. But if you do need help, Finding a classroom, I would definitely prefer you ask somebody around or ask a teacher nearby because um, <laughs> arriving late to a class on the first day or the first week and being the new kid is like an eye catcher. Like, don't be ashamed if you do get lost because obviously everybody's going to have those days. Um, but definitely ask a nearby teacher or student to help you to your class so that you get there on time or like i said go five to ten minutes early so that you're not late and so that you know exactly where your class is don't be intimidated by people at your school everybody like is gonna have their friends from the previous years or whatever but don't let that like get in the way of you becoming friends with them um, I remember last year I got told that I looked very, very mean, and it's just like my face. I'm not mean. I'm actually really sweet. I have a best friend that looks really, really mean, but is actually really, really kind and sweet and loving, or vice versa. Okay, tip friend. number eight is to not talk so much about your old friends to your new friends, because... They want to know more about you and not about how your friends were at your old school. I mean, obviously, you're still going to have some of those friends left over from your old school if they're, like, true, like, loyal friends. But other than that, they're in the past, and your new friends aren't going to want to know everything about them because they're not... Your friends aren't in front of them. You are, and you want to make a good impression or you don't even have to make an impression. You just want to talk about you and talk about like your likes and dislikes or whatever the conversation might be. But focus on yourself and not your friends from the past. Okay, tip number whatever. Um, if you ride the bus, which I'll be doing this year and I'm kind of upset about that, but I honestly don't like riding buses, but I have to do that this year. So this is a little bit of advice on what to do if you ride the bus home. Try to find somebody who lives in your neighborhood or somebody that lives close to you or somebody at your bus stop actually um, that you could become friends with. It helps out a lot if you have somebody to talk with and interact with on the bus instead of just looking at your phone or listening to music the whole time alone. Um, I feel like it kills the time on the bus and you'll be home like quicker than you think. So I hope you guys can take some advice from this video and have a good first day at your brand new school because I know how stressful and nerve wracking it could be. Remember that my Instagram is in the description box below and my DMs are always open to any questions that you guys have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please subscribe if you haven't already, comment and give it a big thumbs up. Um, until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and...